And without further ado, folks, we're going to get the ball rolling here today with uh, an acknowledgement of the traditional owners of the land, with a welcome to country and smoking ceremony. This will be explained to you by Uncle Greg and Uncle Wes. Please make them welcome. Uncle Greg and Uncle Wes. Good afternoon to everyone, and I'd like to thank Bright City Council for inviting me over here again for this special occasion. My name's Greg Sims, everyone knows me as Uncle Greg, and firstly I'd like to acknowledge that we're in Dalek land, I'd like to acknowledge my elders past and present. Because we're Aboriginal people, we don't own the land, the land owns us. We come from Mother Earth, we are the land. And I'd like to acknowledge we're on the land of the Wallamatical people of the Dalek Nation. And within the Dalek Nation, we have 32 different clans, which goes from north of the Wiseman Ferry, all the way down the other side of Liverpool, up in the Blue Mountains around Mount Victoria, and all the way down to Sydney Cove. My mob are the Gadigal people of the Dalek Nation. They come from the Whale people. And when we look at the Dalek Nation, we have inland Dalek and and also coastal Dalek. I'm one of the elders of Western Sydney, and because we're elders, we don't know everything, but we do have a lot of strong values. And those values we have, we like to share those values with everyone, so people can walk away with the strong values in the palm of their hand, and they can treasure that for the rest of their lives. Another thing we do as elders, we go out and teach how to break down barriers and build bridges because we're great believers in the, the Reconciliation Movement and I will always be part of the Reconciliation Movement because no one owns this land, as I mentioned. No one owns nothing. And we all have to live together. Live together in harmony, walk across those bridges together, live together, live together, and, um, and there's nothing better than sharing our remarkable stories by sitting around the fire and watching the flame dance before our eyes. We, um, we as indigenous people, like this country was a multicultural country before settlers came here. We have, we have uh, well over 500 different dialects. And within, the, uh, within New South Wales, we have about over 126 uh, languages, uh, dialects. And, uh, so I'm just proud to be here today to um, for for the um, for the Harmony Festival of 2009, and I'd like to say what are we? That means hello, Mitiga Gordon Barak, friend. It's good to see you. And where behind behind you, you'll see the sea of hands. We we have our reconciliation. Um, uh, store there. So if you need to know anything, come over there and I'll be doing workshops with the kids and um, if you need to know anything, a little bit about culture, then I'll, I'll, you come and have a talk to me and, I'll, and hopefully I can help you. And Uncle Wes is with me today, he will be doing the smoking ceremony and the smoking ceremony is a very strong, powerful thing and only qualified people can do this because not just anyone can just come on board and do a smoking. So uh, I'd like to uh, I'd like to give the welcome now, and this was a language before settlers ever, before settlers came out here in 1788 and just after they arrived, because 85% of Aboriginal people in New South Wales got Irish blood. So you can just imagine from, from Sydney Cove coming out into the western cities and the foot of the Blue Mountains, most of us are, got Irish blood. So um, I'll give the welcome and then we can get on with business. Jody Mara, Dona Capemo, Koi Maria Pemo, the Gunner Rigby Bonner, Von Naiman of Waterlung, Noi DC Guy, Koi Young and Gummer Yarralung, the Gunner Rigby Tiati, the Gunner Rigby the Gummy Guy, Queen William Gunner Gal, Dar Gunner Gal, Dalla Lowy Mugu Kotbala and the Gummy, Dissi La Lowy near Tree Miguel Gal, Jamia Tiati, the Gunner Rigby or Jumana, Mediga, Gunner Barak, Ninga, Dara Capemo, Dizri Go. 
This is Danic Lanes, the land of our ancestors. This spirit still walk among us. Spirits that have been in since the dreaming. The language that comes has been passed down from generation to generation to continue an unbroken culture that has extended for thousands of years. In the language of our people, we welcome you to Dalek Lands. Thank you and have a lovely day. And just finishing up on that note, I just would like to I'd just like to say when we take our next step, just remember the ones that walked this land before. Thank you. Uh, Uncle Wes is going to talk about the smoking ceremony. Good afternoon, everybody. Well, my name is Wes Mann, and I'm here today to do the smoking ceremony. Now, the smoking ceremony is something that we, the, the Indigenous of Australia, have had for thousands and thousands of years. Now, we use the smoking for newborn babies. We dig a hole in the ground. We put a coolerman into it. A coolerman is a wooden dish that the women use to carry their babies and their food in. We place the baby in the coolerman and we put the smoke over the coolerman to get all the get rid of all the bad things that can come from a woman's womb when the baby is born. We use it for young people when they get married. But whatever happens before the smoking doesn't mean a thing, it's what happens after. It's a cleansing ceremony. It's a cleansing and it means a new beginning. When people die, we smoke them to send them on into the next life. Because we as Aboriginal people are very superstitious and we believe that there is another life. We are reincarnated. I hear I could talk, if you want to talk about this later on, I'll be over there, you can come over and we'll talk about it. We used it uh, for, for sickness. And the leaf that I use, we call this leaf apo. And it's a special leaf, it's very hard to get around Sydney. But uh, people just walk through the smoke. If you want to, you can walk through the smoke. It's to get rid of everything that you carry with you bad spirits, whatever. But we believe in bad spirits and good spirits to follow us. Now this, I like this, and we'll get the smoke going. Anybody who wants to walk through the smoke can uh, walk through the smoke. Council members and politicians have to walk through the smoke twice because they've got bad, they got twice the bad things to get rid of, haven't they? But I'll light this now, and then we'll, uh, if you want to, you can walk through it. And uh, I have some leaf there, which we use, I use, and if any of you would like some of this leaf, to me it's a special leaf. You can take it with you or whatever. So I'll light that now, and we can get on with it. Right. It's coming this way, mate. Okay, guys, I'm going to put your hands here now. The big top right over the right 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 the Compassion for humanity. Conscious compassion. We don't look at it. Oh. <laughs> and the second thing was sheer toughness. Yeah. And it's interesting. The third thing he was said was like to bring the divine back into everyday life. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. I, I would have said the four things are uh, air, water, chocolate, and God. Come around again. He's with the Liberal Party, he's going to leave him over there.